The CDC has given Disney the green light to go ahead and take the next big step in resuming cruising. Now this was huge news and let's jump right into it and start talking about it. Now back when the CDC no sale order ended and they passed the conditional sale order, their last big step was to conduct test sailings to show the CDC that you know the cruise ships are, are functional and they have all the guidelines in place that make sure that everyone stays safe. Now ever since the conditional sale order was passed, the cruise ships have taken the initiative to you know get everything ready, set up the guidelines, but then it kind of hit like a a wall and they just didn't advance enough and the CDC wasn't giving them the green light. Well, finally that is changing and the CDC is starting to roll out with the green lights and allowing the cruise lines to finally start their test sailings, including the Disney Cruise Line. Now this was the full announcement by Thomas Mauslum, the president of Disney Signature Experiences. He said, I have some great news to share team. We received word that the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has approved our application to conduct a simulated cruise in advance of resuming normal operations. We now have the green light to conduct our two night simulation cruise on board the Disney Dream from June 29th to June 1st, sailing from Port Canaveral. The ship will sail with volunteer passengers and test our newly developed health and safety programs protocols, which have been meticulously tailored to the current public health environment. All of these protocols are essential to cruising responsibly and Disney Cruise Line could be more committed to making vacation dreams come true as it prioritizes the well-being of all those who step on board the ships. Now, I gotta say this is huge news because we're finally taking the steps necessary and finally advancing in order to get cruising back up and running. Now as Mr. Maslum said, the Disney Dream will be setting sail from Port Canaveral on June 29th and do a two day sailing until July 1st just to test all the guidelines and show the CDC, hey look, we could do this, we can sail, and everyone can stay safe. Now another thing that he did say was that it will have volunteer passengers. Now how does one volunteer for these test sailings? Trust me, I went looking for it the minute I heard the announcement. So Disney hasn't announced who those passengers will be just yet. They haven't confirmed it, but the word of the street is that it will be Disney cast members for the first sailing at least. Now, which type of cast members? Is it going to be Disney World cast members, Disneyland cast members? Is it going to be crew members of other ships? We don't know just yet. We just know that there will be volunteers and the current rumor is that there will be Disney cast members. Now, I'm super excited to see these test sailings just start up already. Disney isn't the first cruise line to be given the green light. It was actually Royal Caribbean and then Carnival was also given the green light to start up those test sailings. They already have multiple ships confirmed. Disney at the moment only has the Disney dream. And keep this in mind, Disney will have to do a test sailing on all four ships. It cannot just be on one. Now, I have no doubt in my mind that Disney will We'll be getting the green light from the CDC very soon for their other ships and in July we will be seeing those test sailings for the fantasy, the magic and the wonder. Now knowing Disney I know for a fact that everything is going to go right. They always prioritize guest safety over everything else and if everything does go right we might see cruising resume very soon. Now when is very soon? I'm not sure. Now I thought the test sailings were going to happen earlier in June. I got the month right just not the time frame itself. Now these cruises are going to start up late June and they are going to go into July which kind of sets up the time frame for maybe a potential return in August. Now this is awesome news because in just two months we might see cruising resume again from the United States and it's just super exciting. Now Disney will have to release other information whether or not they will require vaccinations, whether they will require masks. Like this information has already been rolled out by Royal Caribbean and Carnival and I would assume that Disney will eventually very soon just release that information but slowly but surely we're going to be getting it and just knowing that cruising is resuming oh man i just i can't wait to be back on board a cruise ship again it's it's a different mode of vacation and it is just all out awesome well let me know in the comments below what you think about this news and when do you think cruising will resume i would love to hear from you also, if you enjoyed today's video, smash that like button and hit subscribe. I upload a brand new video every Wednesday. Thank you for being part of the Disney family and see you real soon.